Hello everyone! So today I thought I would um, try something that was actually suggested in the comments and I thought it was quite interesting. Uh, in the last video I did this I mentioned that I would do it on a clear coat uh, if it was possible like um, a water coat but the water coat could cause adherence issue but uh, Kara Avonson in the comment uh, suggested what about a coat of just plain pouring medium? And that's what I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna first start by putting a tin coat of pouring medium on my canvas and then I'm gonna do a dirty pour on the same bottle I used last time and see, see how that goes and see how the paint blends into the medium and uh, see how it dries too. Uh, there shouldn't be, well, there, there won't be any adherence issues since medium is just pure binder. It's just acrylic without without pigments. So um, for this, I mix my paints. My paints, where are they? Uh, for a color contrast between green and well, pink, pink being red with white and uh, I use fluorescent pink and fluorescent green and uh, I'm going to do a dirty pour but I'm going to stack up the paint uh, with more stacks so it goes less like a gradient but more like uh, detailed lines. Uh, yeah my paints are mixed um, one part paint to ten part medium both for the fluid paint and the high floor acrylics and no water since I want to keep the details as uh, clear as possible and uh, uh, yeah I was also afraid that the water would mix into the medium weirdly I just want to paint and the medium and see how that goes so let's uh, get started with this all right so I will start by pouring medium on my canvas and yeah, I know, I should pour my medium into small bottles for stuff like this. The car alarm just went off. All right, so the interesting, I've worked to get it all even and I put my hand in it, all right. So the interesting thing with the medium is that it's white now, but it will dry completely transparent. Um, yep, so that's it. I'm gonna pour, put the bottle here. I'm going to use this cup here and <clears throat> this time what I'll do is instead of just pouring my colors in blocks I'll still use the side of the cup as always so my colors don't mix too much they kind of stack up So there's already like a bunch of lines in my cup so hopefully that will like transcribe <laughs> on the canvas.
All right. So it went a little bit overboard, but still an interesting shape. And I have to say that I'm pretty happy with it. And can't wait to see how that will dry. And can't wait to see how like the medium would interact with the paint if, if it will like steal a little bit of the pigment or whatnot. I'm not sure how everything will happen. So I'll remove this. And I think that as usual, I will go for more details with the back of a brush. All right, so I have to say, I'm really happy with this. Uh, I got the lines and the details that I wanted. A bunch of tiny, tiny, tiny fine lines. I love it. Um, I can't wait to see how it dries. It seems that I messed up my level once again, but it doesn't look too bad. So hopefully it won't be too bad and it will stay um, as is. I would like that. Um, I, I love my spirals in the middle. I uh, can't wait to see how that will dry because remember what's white now uh, will dry transparent. So it will be interesting to see how uh, that dries and yeah that's about it. I think it looks quite interesting uh, like an explosion, explosion of colors and uh, quite the nice contrast. I can't wait to see on, uh, like under black light with the fine lines of a uh, green and pink uh, mixed through the painting. Uh, yeah, I think it's quite the interesting painting. Even though like the paint overflowed in places and we lost like those uh, kind of petal shape, uh, we kind of got some interesting like waves. And I, I made more details with the brush. Um, so yeah. We'll see how that dries. I uh, can't wait to see how the edges will look as well. Because remember, the white will dry transparent. So if the paint got a little bit under the medium. And uh, maybe it will give a little bit of uh, a 3D look. We'll see. Can't wait. And we're back. And... I'm a happy painter. Um, I just hope it stops falling off on this side. Just stays like that and dries like that. Would be nice. Um, and I, I say hum a lot. I have to stop. And again, um, <laughs> what's white will dry transparent. And it will be quite interesting to see how that looks. I mentioned a bit of a 3D look because uh, maybe the paint will like go under the medium and the medium dry over it. We'll see how that looks but uh, I have done that on another canvas before like a layered canvas. What if I pour another coat on this and make like little flowers or little t details on top and then another coat of medium once that's dry like let it dry under uh, in between each coat uh, it could be interesting too we'll see 
But for now, this video will uh, end here. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!